We're speaking to an author behind a new report highlighting racial disparities and cancer death. This analysis conducted by a Duke professor and former Duke scholar highlights both the progress being made in the fight against cancer and the areas where more work needs to be done. Michael Perchik live now in Durham to explain what the numbers show. Michael. Steve Lauren, while the gap in cancer deaths has dropped between black Americans and white Americans between 2000 and 2020, it's still notable a point of emphasis for both survivors and doctors. You don't know from this day to the next because you feel like, oh, am I going to die? It's a fear Portia Scott Hedgepath felt when she was diagnosed with breast cancer at just 31 years old. I'm proud to say I'm a 30 year breast cancer survivor been thriving for this long. Over the past three decades, medical research has made tremendous progress, with cancer deaths nationally decreasing by a third since 1991. However, black Americans are still 12% more likely to die from cancer compared to white Americans. But we know that there are gaps in who has access to screening, who is able to afford um, to get screened for the various cancer types. There. Other reasons for the disparity include availability of healthy food, genetics, and smoking rates. Nearly half a million North Carolinians actually smoke menthol cigarettes. We know that those um, cigarette companies deliberately target black communities. The Biden administration has previously vowed to implement a ban on menthol cigarettes, which are overwhelmingly used by black smokers, but to this point has delayed doing so. Another issue, mistrust of medical professionals. I have met a wide variety of women that um, have said that their doctors didn't listen to them, which created um, uh, their breast cancer progressing um, beyond where it needed to be when, when they noticed something um, that was wrong. Hedgepath, who works with the breast cancer support group Sisters Network of the Triangle, urges people to step up. Please participate in the clinical trials because they're important to the longevity, maybe not of you, but of someone behind you to, to help in their treatment and cure. And that report's co-author tells me that health systems need to also engage in some introspection, engaging in outreach with the community to ensure that trust remains. In Durham, I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.